Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Please be seated. The, today's gospel reading for the Saturday of um, the first, the Saturday of the first week in Lent, the Ember Saturday, tells us about, narrates the events of the Transfiguration on, on the mountain, Mount Tabor. And at the moment that when Peter was, um, is most carried away by the vision and would like to prolong the, this heavenly joy, we are told that a bright light appears and from the light comes down the voice of the Father saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Now, you see, the whole spiritual life and way of perfection <coughs> consists in what? Listening to our Savior and hearing him in such a way as to imitate him and to imitate him in his words and in his actions. That is why, that is where we derive our name Christian, being Christ-like. So, you are to listen to him with your heart, with sincerity of mind, with the ardor of love, and with the strength of will. Consider that the father finds his, his um, only pleasure in his son, therefore he cannot then find pleasure except in those who try to be like him, who try to be like Christ. <coughs> so all that God asks of us is what? A good will. And of course, this goodwill that after all, he himself gives to us, maintains and directs in us so as to carry it to perfection. So to imitate our Lord Jesus to be Christ-like, we must make it our greatest um, occupation to meditate upon the life, his life, for the more one has faith in our Lord and live in, in, in him by faith, the more one transforms oneself into Christ, that is, become Christ-like. Like we read of St. Casimir today, who was, um, despite the, the dangers surrounding him in the court, in, in the... In the kingly court that he was brought up, he took pleasure, he took great devotion in meditating on the life of our Lord, and he, he, he conformed his life to him, and because he, he imitated him so well, he was known to be the father of the poor and the destitute. And of course, even Pope, Pope, Pope um, Lucius, whom we, we also celebrate today, all bore witness to Christ in different ways. He, as a matter, the others, Saint Casimir, as a confessor. So, consider that the whole, the whole, that the whole um, Christian life is what is to be to be transformed in glory. While Christ was transformed in glory, he was speaking about his death. He was speaking about his humiliation. And, of course, with Moses and with Elias. In his joy, he was speaking about his sufferings. This shows us that from our own humiliation and suffering, we come to the true glory. So, what does Christ ask of us? That we follow him. We follow him, for you see, just as Christ had to suffer before entering into his glory, 
we too must suffer much if we are to partake of Christ's joy and glory. So, to be Christ-like in glory, we must be Christ-like in suffering. Therefore, let us try to try to imitate Christ and in all we do, so that in sharing in his suffering here on earth, in our tribulations, in our privations, and all that, for love of him and in union with him, we shall also participate in his glory. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.